Returning to Russia's invasion of Ukraine, and as Moscow's presence intensifies in the south and east, Australians, both at home and in Europe, are banding together to provide aid. In some cases, dropping everything to move to the Poland-Ukraine border to help refugees on the ground who are fleeing the brutal conflict. Another day of sorrow in Ukraine, more homes wiped from the face of the earth. This man was pulled out from a collapsed administration building in Kharkiv. Car alarms piercing the silence in the bombed-out city. Russian Federation missiles ending this chapter in the lives of its residents. <laughs> At the Ukraine-Poland border, rare moments of joy. Now Australian volunteers are joining others from around the world to help the millions of Ukrainian refugees seeking shelter in neighbouring countries. Thank everyone that's been supporting us with your prayers and who's been supporting us with your money. Volunteers like Polish-Australian Basia Rozlianic, who's opened up her Warsaw home for women and children. We currently have got about 25 people here uh, that we are housing. Most of them are children. Um, we had over 50 people. Uh, uh, half of those people went to Norway. Uh, we have some people actually going to Australia. Or Nick Janu, who in the week after the start of Russia's invasion, packed up his life in Melbourne and came to Poland. He's been keeping us updated with video diaries. Hey guys, just an update on the van build at the moment. So I'm um, working with Oli, my family member, and uh, my buddy Ilyan, who's uh, also donated to the cause. Um, hey guys, this is our construction yeah. site. Buying a van, which he's now kitting out to live in, and help potentially transport refugees from the border to safety. Resigned from my job that day and uh, then got the ball rolling. And it was just uh, packing up a life doesn't happen easily. Um, but yeah, uh, I think it was about a week and a half or so from making that decision to, to landing here. He's not alone. Australia's Ukrainian population is now banding together to help refugees. They estimate as many as 1,400 have already arrived in Australia. We have crisis, the Ukraine crisis appeal. We've collected about $2.5 million there. Um, we've sent our first lot of uh, shipment, medical shipment um, off to uh, Ukraine last week, and they'll continue to do that over the next few weeks. Um, we have 20 pallets, uh, airline pallets, uh, ready to go. Helping the victims of a conflict far away, but so close to the heart. Henry Zwartz, SBS World News. That is the world this Sunday. If you missed any of tonight's bulletin, you can always catch up on the SBS News website shortly. I'll be back with more news right throughout the evening. But for now, from the news team, good night.